Hi, good day, good night, good evening, depending on what time you happen to be watching this. Welcome to another episode of House of Stars. I'm your girl, Star. And as you can see today, like, I am going to do a review on Kanye West. Like, you guys know that I did a reading on him. I'm actually going to link it in the description box. This is when I first started out doing House of Stars these YouTube videos and a lot of like things that I've said have come to pass so far and everything like that and it's strange because when you are actually reading on a person you're just channeling the message it's not like you really connect to the things that you're saying you're just like you're just using you're being used as a vessel and fast forward now um, now that everything is now materializing it's just like insane especially and, and what I'm I'm magnifying on is the mental state of Kanye West. Like, it has just gotten to a point where it's just getting completely out of control. And of course, you know, especially when you are in the music industry or entertainment industry for that matter, um, you know, you're you profit off of that shock value. You know what I mean? Like, it, when you are in that position, your position is to always find ways to stay relevant. Okay. And of course, in most cases, you see some shocking things, and you want to believe that that's the reason. That's the reasoning for maybe a certain celebrity's behavior or whatever you. But in this case, like I don't know. Um, as you can see, of course, like I am doing a video in the daytime, and then if anyone knows me, and if you notice, or you probably haven't told, a lot of my videos I do at night. So meaning like. It's not like I'm one of those people that like jump onto topics right away. I kind of like do them in my own time. But after being, if anyone is, is follows the shade room, I'm going to just link in the description box. Or you could even go on TMZ because it was actually um, an interview or a video from TMZ um, of Kanye West having a discussion um, and stating that how slavery was a choice, you know. That as black people, we have enslaved, we were enslaved for how many years and gone through so many injustices and we're even going through modern day slavery, whether um, it's not like we're still walking around in chains, whether it's our mental or marginalizing us and putting up barriers for us to succeed is what we go through up until this day. And Kanye West felt it was, don't know what's going on in his head, but he felt based on his mythologies and his way of thinking that slavery was all a, a choice. It's, it's all in your head, so to speak. And I, like, yo, like, it takes a fucking lot to get me out of my seat. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even if somebody does something that is not exactly something that I've expected, like, at least I can see from where their mindset or how they started, how it could have spiraled into that. But... This blew my mind. I'm like, Kanye is like, he has no bounds now. He's like not following the protocol at all. Not just even as a black person, but just even as um, a person that has a voice to present themselves to the masses and has influence. Like he's like just going against all the barriers and, and guidelines and a place of tact when it comes to how you deliver your messages. And he's just off, just off. And I'm just going to do a reading on him because, of course, I, I've been looking at, like, I've even been talking to friends and I'm like, yo, have you seen Kanye West? Because, like, when you look into this guy's eyes, like, there's just nothingness. Like, you can just tell, like, there's just, there's this man is completely ungrounded, not rooted. And, yeah, so let's just get into it. I, I know I'm just dragging along, but I am just, I'm not gonna lie like I'm just like what is wrong with this dude and I'm like no I gotta look into this see how this is gonna materialize and like what is gonna come of this all so I have a picture of Kanye West on this phone y'all know I don't edit or anything like that so I kind of have to do things real as to how you're right now one time I'm a one-shot wonder so I got this picture of him and I think that this picture is a perfect depiction um and shows a whole lot of his mental state because as you can see in the photo he's very much in deep thought so i would say that in this picture this is like probably the truest form of what's going on in his mind for me to pick up on not like i need this 
Like, I, but I, I just thought that it was a good photo to use. Okay, so. Let me just tap into his energy. like word I heard is tired and not tired on a physical level like meaning just tired just tired um he's at a place in his life where he's just tired of being told what he's not supposed to do and how he's supposed to do it it's almost like it's like he's at a place where he's in a place of pain you know and this is a lot of past things and things that he's gone through and he knows that it's hindered him and because of it, like, he suffered a lot of injustices due to his, his actions of the pain that he's going through. Now, when I say injustice, I mean, like, I feel like it's like Kanye has never really got the chance to really, like, mourn things that he's gone through. Or had a chance to even have the empathy or um, the understanding for the things that he's gone through, being a musician and being in this industry. And it's almost like he's, like, at the place where he's, like, I'm just tired of having this thick skin. Like, I have to have a thick skin about everything and just, like, let it all out how the fuck I feel. Because it's just, like, I can't take it anymore. Like, I feel, I have a thought, I have thoughts, I have ideas, I have this, I have that. And it's, there, there's no way or there's no reason why I cannot be the person that I see myself to be. Or have things done the way that I want them to be done. Or be respected and seen in the context of how I want people to see me. Now, as you know, you know, in this real world is that, of course, your, your mind is your temple. You know, you have the power to manifest whatever you like. Um, but I feel like when it comes to Kanye West, given the systems and, you know, the, um, the word I can use for it. The system and the and the context of the category where he stands in, um, it's like that doesn't exactly go to the contract, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? So it's like he's not realizing that. Um, I think he's realizing it, but it's like he feels like he's in a like he's in a prison, but he's on this long chain. So it's almost like he's this spiral is almost like the spiral of thinking like. Do I got to do what everyone is expecting of me or, or what they what I need to say to get what it is that I want? Like, I will literally sell my soul and every aspect of myself and do that great sacrifice in order for me to be where I need to be and be respected for where I need to be respected. But when it comes to Kanye West and this situation, of course, and especially how fragile his mental state is, it's not that Kanye is in a position to really get the proper guidance and guidelines to go about things. Not to mention he's at a place where his patient has his patience has run thin. So it's like even if he were to get the advice, and especially a person like Kanye, where in his mindset he feels he's even smarter than anybody that is trying to tell him what to do. It's like, fuck it. I'm gonna literally throw whatever against the fucking wall and see what the fuck sticks. Unfortunately for Kanye. Being in the industry that we're in, you know, that the position that you're in, that you are a word of, you are a person of influence, you um, are a person that um, is looked up to for your ways of thinking or whatever the case may be, like the certain guidelines, is not exactly working out for him because it's, imagine having to like clean up yourself or take a shower out in the open for everybody to see. People are going to start to see some parts of you or see you go into do be put in certain positions that are uncompromising just to wash yourself clean. You get what I'm saying? And that's exactly what's happening to Kanye West right now. He's washing himself clean and it's there for millions to see. Not to mention, I do feel like there is some kind of mental or chemical imbalance that is going on in his brain right now. Um, there's a situation, there is a way of like, Especially when you come in, for example, when you come into spirituality or you come into learning a higher aspect of yourself and your way of thinking. There is a grounded level in order to stream that information in so that your body is catching up or your mental state 
is catching up and merging together with that uh, profound energy and power that is coming within yourself. But Kanye's like gotten like a full dose, <laughs> uh, maybe an overdose of that, and it's a lot coming in at once for him, bigger than he's allowing himself to actually process it. So I do feel what's going to end up happening with Kanye, of course, he's getting a lot of media scrutiny. It's funny that he sits there and he actually um, praises Donald Trump because I feel like there is going to be something that happens in the public or, or something that Donald Trump says showing that no matter how much you actually praise this guy, this man is a man for himself. So it's one of those situations where Kanye is going to start to feel dumb again um, for defending somebody that really didn't care for you to defend them. You know what I mean? And that, let me scratch on the fact that that is what I feel like what happened with Jay-Z and Beyonce, you know what I mean? Because as you know, um, at one of the Grammy Awards, I don't remember what year, where Kanye West, no, scratch that. Okay, so we already know that the Taylor West situation that happened, the Taylor Swift situation that happened, and then fast forward the whole thing when Beck won the album of the year and Beyonce did not win it and Kanye had something to say about that. I think what hurts Kanye the most is about that situation, especially with Jay-Z and Beyonce, is his diehard loyalty to them. You know what I mean? Like, he was so loyal to those two people and would do anything and stand in, stand in front of fire if he had to, just to just show his loyalty and love that he had for them. And I kind of feel like their mentality was, well, we were not the ones that told you to go do that. Which is totally understandable. I totally get it. Like, okay, like, it's not like he told them, he didn't tell them to go on stage. But at the same time, the fact that he would go as far as shamelessly defend you and make an ass out of himself to defend you, and you would go as far as to, meh, you know what I mean? And not give that same regard, respect, and loyalty to him. I think that that kind of blowing has caused trauma in him. It's, it, 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 it is literally, they, like, it's not, I don't, I wouldn't even say it's an ego thing. It's more to its heart. Like, it's just like, I do so much for people and I'm like there for people and I will give my heart and soul to anybody. And it's like, I can't say that people that I have rolled around me or people that I've done the same for in the past has done the same thing. Um, and I feel like he's kind of riding on that. He's riding on that pain. And that pain has kind of developed like a PTSD. You know what I mean? Um, so it's almost like every in everything that he's in, it's like, it, it was like a buildup of so many things that have happened in the past, like seen in front of the camera and behind scenes of situations that he's went, went through. And it's just rolled up into a ball. And now this is a big explosion of it. And it's like, he's not able to control himself. Like, it's just like he... But in his space, is a, in his way of mind, being the creative genius that he presents himself to be, is that is being genius, is doing things without thinking and seeing what result comes of it. And that scrub goes back to what I said, is throwing whatever against the wall and trying to see what sticks. You know what I mean? Um, I do feel like these, these outbursts and these situations may cause issues in his marriage, and that is because... It's going to get to the point where Kanye may have a place where he's not going to be able to have any discrimination of his behavior. And it's going to become too much. Because I almost feel like it's like him, I see her holding the kids, kind of like, is this healthy for them to be around? Like, you know what I mean? So I feel like that's going to cause some issue in their marriage. I do feel like he's going to be rehabilitated again. And it almost feels like it's going to be sometime soon. Um... Because, like, he has just a lot of, I don't know, this is weird. I don't know if it's an advertisement or something. I don't know why I just saw Kanye was sitting in a chair with, like, um, like almost like a band around his head and he's, like, hooked up to a computer. You know what I mean? It's like, he's really, like, he really, like, I'm really, really worried about him. Um, just because it's like, it, it can get a whole lot worse. And it may get to a place that if he's not careful, it, he might um, go as far as inflicting harm on himself because he is building up so much. It's like he's kicking up so much smoke 
that I don't know if he's going to be able to have the ability to, you know, clear the smoke that he's creating, because it's just a lot. Um, at the same breath, like, he is trying to come from a place of humility, but his, his, uh, his way of how he's doing things are very careless, um, which, like, you know, because I, I will, I will say this man, deep down inside, has a heart in there, like, he has a place where he can put himself into somebody else's position and see where they're coming from, but it's almost like he does things, like, he has a thought, and in most cases, when people have a thought and a lot of thought to just process and make sense of it in, their, in his mind, is like it just comes straight out. And that, that happens a lot when it comes to, you know, people that fall under the sign of Gemini. Um, and that's how Geminis are actually viewed sometimes and regarded as being real messy. Just because they're, they have two, like, you know, the Gemini, of course, the symbolism is the twins, right? And some people can look at it as them being two people. Or they can be, have the ability to be two people. But I find that what I've come across a lot with Gemini, they have two processing minds. You know what I mean? So one mind processes, one part aspect of their mind processes things this way. And this aspect process of, his, of their mind processes things another way. So a lot of time it's like if they're not grounded, it's like the two minds are the two ways of thinking doesn't think um, and streamline in order for them to actually you know, act in a, in a, a respectful manner, depending on the situation that they're, they're faced with. So, with Kanye, it's like he has these outbursts, you know what I mean? Like, for example, some of you guys are familiar with Azealia Banks. Same thing happens with Azealia Banks. It's like, she processes, she has so much passion, she just says what she feels, you know what I mean? Um, and a lot of times it's because it's just like, well, I'm just going to say what's in my head. You know what I mean? And a lot of people don't say exactly what's going on in their head because just because they don't say it doesn't mean they think it. But they think it and say it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and that causes a lot of problems. But at the same time, it's not that these people are people that are they're evil or they don't care about how people feel. Like they do feel bad or retract after when their words become damaging or hurtful to somebody else. Um, so I feel like with Kanye West, I do feel... There's going to be some delays with some of his stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's going to be some delays when it comes to his projects. And that's because I feel like everyone's kind of acting funky with him. Like, okay, we want to go ahead, but, like, should we go ahead? Because, you know, if we are associated with you and our name is on this too, like, we can take a fall with you because at the same time, like, the way you're acting, you're not exactly acting like you have this all together right now. And, yeah, it's just a whole situation. So... Um, I do see some delays with projects. I do feel like he's going to do some performances this year. So, you know, don't be surprised if there's like a secret um, or a, a last minute tour or something like that that gets announced. Um, I do get the sense, too, that I feel like there is going to be some reconciliation with him and Jay-Z. But, well, we already know that something happened before, but I feel like on a different level, there's going to be some reconciliation. I do actually feel like there's good. I don't know if it's a documentary. But I see a collective of people, especially historical figures when it comes to black history, you know what I mean, that are going to go through, almost like, you know, like a um, Ayanna Lavanza, like something like that, like I'm like a Fix My Life. I don't even know if it's with her, but it's something like a Fix My Life where, like, they're going to try to come in as a community and try to help them and then get a better understanding. Because people are looking at him, of course, that, that he's lost. And you, a lot of people want to, you know, as black people are just like, nah, like, we don't own that nigga, like, let him go, like, he's done, but there's going to be different figures, especially public figures, that are going to be like, no, Kanye, come back to earth, like, you need to see this shit, because I think Kanye has come to a place, you know, along with his mental state and it not being stable right now, I think that his surrounding, especially when it comes to, like, his wife and the family and stuff like that, his surrounding is like he's almost forgotten the black experience because of not only that, like, he's afforded the opportunity to kind of be away from normal societal uh, situations that happen. Um, and it's like it, he's becoming so embedded and seasoned in that lifestyle that it's almost like he's forgetting where he's coming from or forgetting what, as people, that they go through and do our voice. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, that's what's going on with Kanye West, man. I just, I feel bad for dude in a sense because... Like, 
you know, I was once a fan of Kanye West, and and but I think I said like I don't really like the whole superficial aspect of who he is, but like damn, like this has just gotten bad to worse, and I, I don't know, I just why do I see him fighting? I just saw him fighting. That's so crazy. Okay, but I just saw him fighting. Um. He's gonna start exposing stuff too. I do see that. And if he knows what he's you know what's good for me, he wouldn't say that. Because I feel like he's gonna be talking about people's business that he should not be talking about. Like I feel like there's gonna be things that are gonna like he will say about the family. Like his Kardashian clan, Je Kardashian clan, uh Jenner Flight. Like it's gonna be like crazy when they're gonna start looking at him like, yo, do you good? Like what what did I do to you? Like you know what I mean? It's gonna be a mess. This is like this is gonna spiral off of, out of control. Because to be honest, I feel like Kanye West has been put on meds and he's not taking them, and he should be taking them. And I'm a person that I'm gonna get some medication, but like Lord, like you need to be taking this medication. Uh, um, so that's it. Uh, that's what I do get when it comes to Kanye West. Like Kanye West, are you fucked up? Mm, slavery is a choice. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or concerns when it comes to knowing more about what's going on around Kanye West or what's to come or whatever the case may be, please put it in the comment section. Of course, I'm going to link the Kanye West video that I did three years ago for you guys to see that video as well. Again, if you do want to get a reading with me, all my information is in the description box. You will know where to find me and where to book and how to book. Um, but be sure to follow me on all my pages and everything like that as well. And if you like, share this video as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm still mindful. Sorry. I want to thank you so much for your time and rocking with me. May God bless you and the angels protect you. Good night.